Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to create your first program in Java using BlueJay. I'm also going to show you how to set up a file system or how I set up a file system. So let's go ahead and get started. Before I start programming, I need to set up a file system. The first thing I'm going to do is right click on my screen, select New Folder, and then after I do that, it'll create new folder here. I need to rename the folder uh, BlueJ, or maybe it's your class name, or maybe it's just your name. Wherever you're going to start, store these programs, you may want to name it programs. Double click on that. On the inside here, uh, right click, go to new folder, and then name this one maybe notes. And again, I'm going to click on new or right click and go new folder. And this one I'm going to name projects. Now this is how I organize my file system for me. It's also how I organize my file system for my classes. So in notes, this is where I give information or where I uh, provide a certain program for my students. In projects, this is where they do their own programs or where they are given a task and they actually program themselves. Now we're ready to start our first program. So double click on BlueJ or the BlueJ icon. Click on Project, New Project. Then choose the folder or the file that you want it to be stored in. For me, it's already here. For you, it may not be. So go to Choose. And let's say it's back at this PC or somewhere in my documents. Uh, just navigate back to this PC. Double click on desktop. Double click on the file that we just created. Click on notes. And then hit select folder. After you do that, you're going to create your project file. So, or your source folder. Right here is going to be the name of that source folder. So if you're doing this class in a chronological order, you may want to put a number one here and then type hello or hello world or my first program, whatever you would like to name it. But I like putting a number one here so I can see the order when I'm learning a certain topic, especially if I'm learning through tutorial videos and then click OK. And now you're all set. You're ready to start your first program. In order to start your first program, click on New Class. And the class name here is going to be Hello World. And click OK. Double click on Hello World. Hit Control or hold down Control and select A. And go ahead and get rid of this magic. Push Enter a few times and then scroll back up using your arrow keys. Now start typing your class name again. So go public class hello world, all one word, camel casing. Open curly brace, close curly brace, and this blocks off where your class is located. End class hello world. Now, if you didn't understand anything I just said, don't worry, just stick through it. We will rewrite uh, public class, whatever the name is, over and over and over again. We'll, we, we'll create open curly braces and close curly braces, and that'll create a highlighted area right here that'll show you exactly where your class is located. Now, Java needs classes in order to work. So you create a class first with a class name, and then it needs one method primarily to run. And that method is called the main method. So you type in public static void main string open bra bracket close bracket and then the ar args argument or arg either or you can actually type whatever name you want there but args is used standard then put a comment down here called end main method and this just keeps you organized 
So inside of here is where you're going to start putting your uh, Hello World. In order to do that, in order to print out Hello World, you need uh, something called dot notation. So you use system, the system class of Java, dot out, dot print. Now you can use print or print ln. Uh, let's use print for right now and put hello world or whatever text you want inside those quotes. And then close parenthesis there. And that's it. That'll print out your first program, hello world. So now just hit compile. And compiles like spell check, right click on hello world, void main string args, click OK, and there it prints out hello world. So let's go ahead and do that again, and I'm going to show you an option that you need to change on BlueJ, or you may want to keep it, it's up to you. But uh, so I'm going to hit compile again, just spell check that, right click on hello world, void main string args, and hit OK. And you'll notice that it prints Hello World twice, but I didn't say to print Hello World twice in my program. However, when I ran the program, it printed it twice. And the reason for this is, is it's not clearing the screen after each time the program runs. In order to do that, you need to go to Options and check right here uh, next to Clear Screen at Method Call. And after you do that, it'll clear the screen after each call to that method. So let's go ahead and run it one more time. Right click, void main string args, hit OK, and you'll see that it clears the screen after method call and you're good to go. All right, enjoy that. Uh, maybe type some other text here. Try print ln as well and see what that does. Uh, try multiple prints here. You can copy and paste this as many times as you like. Try print ln, try print, and just experiment with this. And then after you do that, you're good to go on to the next program. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video.